Hey Ross World, my money makes money. All roads lead to money. Now, if you're in this society today and you have no ambitious, you have no dreams or nightmares of being homeless, then all roads lead to money. What am I talking about? In some form of fashion, you either make, earn, or spend money every day. What are you talking about? Every time you turn on your light in your house, you're spending money. Every time you get in your car and you drive, you're spending money, whether it be gas or car note or car insurance. All roads leads to money. You're like, okay, we got that. Everything is related to economics. So this video is something that I really want you to think about. If all roads lead to money in some form of fashion, then why aren't you making any money? See, this is the thing. Everybody wants to cry about how somebody didn't do something for them or how someone did something to them. What about do something for yourself? It's easy. Blame the government for everything. Blame them. Oh, they didn't write this bill. They vetoed this. The legislator is wrong. All this poppycock, okay? All this bull crap. All roads lead to money. What does that mean? If all roads lead to money, then at the end of the road, or even on the road, there's trickles, there's traces, there's a trail of money that you can collect. And what we're talking about, I'm going to go back to because you haven't heard it in a while. You have not heard this in a while. The four tiers of money. The four tiers of money. Getting out of debt, budgeting, saving, and investing. Let's talk about debt. I'm going to talk about debt this quick. Get out of it. Ding, ding, ding. Pay off your bills. Get out of collections. That's it. Budget. What is budget? You find a budget sheet somewhere on the internet. Does not matter. You write down all your expenses. You write down all your income. And you figure out how to get out of debt. Then how to budget your money. And then guess what? From the budget, you figure out how much you can save versus how much you can invest. Then next, have a goal for your savings. Have a goal. Now people say, okay, have three months of all your bills saved up. Have six months for all your bills saved up. Yes, you're thinking that's gonna take a long damn time. Yep, it is. For most of us, it's gonna take a long time. But guess what? You have a goal, people. Follow your goals, follow your dreams. Have a dream and say, you know what? I'm gonna start out with a thousand. Next milestone, I'm going to start off with 3000 Next milestone, I'm going to start off with 5000 Now, you may have some sort of large, enormous amount that you want to reach, but you're making it by little small milestones. Boom, 1000 boom, 3000 boom, 5000 boom, 7000 so on and so forth. But if you don't make a goal, you don't have anything that you can see that is obtainable for you to reach. Okay? For you to reach, it's... It's serious. This is life-saving things, ladies and gentlemen. What are you talking about? Life-saving things. Have you ever been in a hospital bed and you didn't have insurance and you was tore the, your whole body was just messed up, right? You had all sorts of nerve damage, a dog bit your arm, you got shot in the leg. Who knows what that medical bill would be? You think the rich guy worried about it? He got money to pay for his bills. And then after that, he gonna pay for it on the spot. Think about this. All roads lead to money. I know you like, he all over here and all over there. I want you to bring it back in for me because the reason why I'm giving all these scenarios and I'm saying these different things is because I need for you to grasp, I need for you to understand, I need for you to comprehend that all roads lead to money. And at the end of the day, you want money. You want money saved. You want money invested. Because when you need money, okay, not when you want it. When you need money, you got it. You got it. You lost your job. You got your savings account. You lost your job. You got your investments account. This is what I'm talking about. All roads lead to money. And the only thing I can see you doing is making fucking excuses why you don't have money. Why you don't have money. You're making excuses why you don't have money. Oh, I got to do this. Oh, I'm supposed to help her out. Oh, that's my dog. Oh, I got to do this. Hey, man, we can if this thing all day. We can, oh, 
this thing all day. We can make excuses all day, but at the end of the day, your butt broke. You don't have anything to fall back on. You don't have anything that you can draw from, right? Let me cash out my investments because midlife crisis, right? Midlife crisis. Let me cash out my investments. You got money coming back to you. Now, granted, you want to stay in the market as long as you can and let that money make you money. But hey, things happen, right? Things happen. I got it. I got it. But right now, you don't even have a toe in the game. You don't have a foot in the game. I need you to step inside the four tier box, okay? Let me back it up. I need for you to step inside the money making box. Get on the trail, cause all roads lead to money. I have given, I can't say a thousand, but hundreds maybe, or a hundred, ways to make money. There's so many ways to make money. Side hustles, investments, okay? Starting your own business, Okay, flipping property. <laughs> is there so many ways to make money? And you're like, well, I work at McDonald's. So, I don't feel sorry for you that you work at McDonald's or Burger King. Because guess what? I gave an analogy some time back about a guy. I believe he worked at the post office back in the day. And this guy died a millionaire. Because he invested his money. So if you're McDonald's, but I see you with Jordans on. <laughs> You spending your money on the wrong thing, dog. You spending, if I see you and you work at Wendy's or Burger King's and you got a new Michael Kors purse, you spending your money on the wrong thing, sweetie. Okay, sweetie, you, you, you spending your money on the wrong thing. Give me $10, give me $15 and let me invest that for you. Let me slowly make you money as you blow the rest of yours. Just think about that. You take a thousand dollars, a lot of you, right? You get the tax returns, you're claiming your kids, head up household, earn income credit, etc. You get four, five, six, some ten, twelve thousand dollars back and you blow it. Now, some of you get yourselves out of debt. Good. Some of you pay off your car. Good. Some of you take that money and buy clothes and go on trips while you're still in debt. Idiots. Freaking idiots. Yeah, you know what? If you took your tax return and you still in debt and you blew it on clothes and shoes and trips or you went to go pay a down payment on a new car with your tax return and you still in debt and you still owe people, let me tell you something. I'm going to get in real close for you to hear me. You stupid. This is Ross World. My money makes money. All roads leave to money all roads leads to money and if you don't get on one of these paths if you don't get on one of these roads <laughs> you ain't gonna have no money nope i'm out